Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Do you see what I see? Be the leader. Here's what I'm talking about. This little group of chickens that you're seeing back here is my buff Orpingtons. I have a series of hens that are buff Orpingtons. And I also have some buff Orpington roosters, okay? I got this little pack of baby chicks and have raised them. And when I did that, when I was raising them as baby chicks, I had some Easter eggers. One of the Easter eggers remained with the group. She just, this is her flock. So she's an oddball in this group. And I wasn't sure she'd stay because, you know, she's not a Buff Orpington, right? Maybe she'll go to the barn with the rest of the Easter eggers and be of her kind. So she has remained with the group, however, because she gets, she gets along with them. It's been interesting to watch her develop. And I'm going to film some up close here. So you've heard me talk about Angel and the Buffs. The little Easter egger that's floating around over there is Angel. She is the only hen that I have named in that group. And I have the two roosters, of course. Um, there's a lesson here. So I've come out today. Miss Angel jumps out of her run every single day. I've even clipped her right wing. I've even clipped the girl's wing. Hi, Mr. Peaches. I've even clipped her wing, trying to keep her down, keep her in place. Well, you can't keep that girl down. So I've come out today and, and, uh, and I'm doing some things in the yard and I, I sat and I observed her. She was out. She was in the back to Eden garden and she was doing her thing and she was doing all that. And then she would run back like she's communicating with them or whatever and just keeping a watchful eye. So I thought, well, she wants back in the run. So I went over and I was going to let her in, right? She went up. And it was like she started to lure the rest of them out. And I said, well, hey, we'll just have a free-range party. They came out. I watched this little oddball of a hen literally wrangle the entire group of Buff Orpingtons up and was showing them where to go in free-range, where the good stuff was. She wasn't doing it with them. It's like she would go over and she was kind of showing them where and she'd walk around them and the excitement was incredible. The moral of the story that I watched here, you can learn so much by just observing. Go out in your yard, watch your hens, watch your dogs, how they behave with each other. Watch how a cow interacts with an, a, a, a herd with her calf. Also, don't be afraid to be the exception. Don't be afraid to be the oddball. Don't be afraid to be independent. To be independent-minded. To be self-sustainable within yourself, within your family, within your community. People are looking for leaders. We need leadership. We need individuals that are not afraid to not only step out, but also teach and to take us back. Big lesson right in front of me right over here today to the point where I put down the rake, I put down the cup of coffee, and I came and got the camera because I was sitting here and it was like a, a lesson from God is just playing out in front of me, isn't it? And Mr. Peaches is right here with me too. And you know, you can absolutely see examples of the way I think that we need to be courageous and willing to not only be, but to also be willing to step out and teach. Let's go over and see what they're doing <laughs> and I'm just so proud of this little hen it was just an amazing um, the smallest 
oddest hen just took on an exceptionally important role in the flock. Don't be afraid to be an angel. Let's go check them out. Hey guys. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Girls, you did good today with all your eggs. Where's Angel at? She off doing her own thing? Let's go see where Miss Angel is. Are you trying to get the others out too? Miss Angel, you sure are a good leader. Guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We just enjoy sharing all of our farming adventures with you. There's so much beauty in homesteading and self-reliance and connecting back to your roots. Y'all take care out there. Hey, big guy. Hey, big guy. <laughs>